This is Chris Nyland, nicknamed Knuckles. And this guy, he certainly deserved his nickname. Chris Nyland played in the NHL from 1980 to 1992, rocking the jerseys of the Montreal Canadiens, Boston Bruins, and New York Rangers. Renowned as one of the league's greatest fighters, he still holds a record for the most penalty minutes by an American-born player. Drafted 231st overall in the 1978 NHL entry draft, Nyland proved to be the top enforcer of his class, and arguably one of the best in NHL history. His formidable reputation earned him spots in the 1987 Canada Cup team and the 1991 NHL All-Star Game. Throughout his career, Nyland went toe-to-toe -to -toe with some of the NHL's most feared enforcers, but he never looked scared. Recently, a video surfaced where he talks about the toughest enforcers he met. I had a couple tough fights near the end, Stu Grimson and, and, and Jim McKenzie, but up until that point, well, very beginning, O'Reilly, give it to me pretty good. So, you know, some uh, I'd say O'Reilly maybe. The fact that he said O'Reilly is no shocker. As O'Reilly is out into the stands, and this is going to be something, O'Reilly's into the stands fighting. This guy was literally a big bad Bruin, nicknamed Taz, a reference to the Tasmanian Devil. Terry O'Reilly was known as one of the greatest enforcers, not only of his era, but of all time. The Ontario native once had five consecutive seasons of 200-plus penalty minutes. His career high came in the 1979-1980 season, where he totaled 265 penalty minutes in 71 games. Even with that time spent in the box that season, still, O'Reilly managed to post 61 points. The Bruins put some respect on his name and retired his number 24 in 2002.